Hey guys, Daniel here with Live Tech Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to do this with your pictures. You may have seen this effect before. It is known as the tilt shift lens effect. Basically makes your pictures look like they're miniature. Now this is obviously gonna work best with pictures that are taken uh, from an aerial perspective or up high. Uh, then again, uh, experiment around. Doesn't have to be taken uh, with pictures from up high, but that's what I'm gonna use right now. I'm gonna show you how to do this in Photoshop CS6. Now, currently, as this video is is being made, the beta of Photoshop CS6 is available. I will put the link to download that in the description below. If it is not available to you, that means the product has uh, been p released, and you can download the trial at the Adobe website. Now, I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS6. I've got two images here. I've got a panorama here, aerial view, and then we've got just a close-up of a village. Now, I'm going to open up the panorama. I'm going to go to Filter blur, tilt shift, which is the new feature. If we zoom in here, you can see we've got these lines. Now these uh, dotted lines, I believe, are where the gradient, well not the gradient, the blur sort of fades out, just like a gradient. And you've got these other lines here, which is where, you know, the clear section of the image is, where there's no blur. Now I'm going to, you have to decide, obviously, for yourself which part you want blurred. I'm going to leave it about here. So I want this middle section to be clear and the rest to be blurred. Now this circle here, this ring, can actually adjust the blur, of the outside, and you can see it sort of previews it. Obviously if you put it to like 100% or something, it will, it will blur a lot. Or you can actually go to the side here, maybe I'll type in 50, no, I want it a bit more, maybe 60, no, even a bit more, maybe 90. Something like that, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of a uh, trial and error, hit and miss sort of thing. Let's say 115, that's about good. Now all you have to do is hit OK. OK, so you can see now that it's done. Done quite a good job. Not the best, obviously, like I said, doesn't work with all the pictures. Let's move on to the next picture. Again, this is all trial and error. Now I've got this picture of a little village here, it's a bit more cropped, zoomed in. I'm going to go to filter again, blur, tilt shift. Again, those lines are going to come up. Now I want to focus in on just a few houses, not all the houses. Just the middle section. I'm going to blur quite a lot of it. Probably about, let's see what 40% looks like, 40 pixels. Mm, a bit more, maybe 60. Meet it halfway and see what 55 looks like. Yeah, I think I'm going to do 55 and then I'm just going to hit OK. OK, so that's done now. If you zoom out, it looks quite good. Uh, let's add a bit of color correction. Just auto color correction. It actually looks much better with the color correction. Uh, looks more like a, an actual miniature village, which is quite cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's very easy. If you have uh, anything below CS6, uh, you can still achieve this effect. Uh, there's a lot of videos on how to do it in, on YouTube. Obviously, it's m a bit more manual. Uh, there's no automated filter to do it, uh, but it still can be achieved now. This is what fi uh, CS6 brings to the table. Uh, it's much easier now with this tool. And it's got tons of more tools that we haven't even discussed. So uh, hey, if you are feeling like you want to see more CS6 tutorials or any graphic design tutorials for that matter, uh, leave a comment below or on our Facebook page or Twitter and tell us what you want to see. Uh, we are here to serve you and make tutorials. And hey, try some tilt shift uh, lens experiments out in your pictures and please post them on our Facebook uh, site. We would love to see them. Facebook.com forward slash live tech AU. And also you can tweet us your picture at twitter.com forward slash live tech AU. All the links will be in the description below. Remember to subscribe if you like this video and also give it a thumbs up. It's a really awesome tutorial. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later.